A very good day everyone. I am Yogi Siri Sampanam. Today I am going to present about atmospheric dispersion model. Introduction. Mathematical simulation of the physics and chemistry governing the transport, dispersion and transformation of pollutant in the atmosphere. Means of estimating downwind air pollution concentration given information about the pollutant emission and the nature of the atmosphere. Meteorology is fundamental of the dispersion of pollutant because it is the primary factor determining the WT effect of the atmospheric. Basic principles of atmospheric dispersion. Materials released into the air in particle or gaseous form at the scene of an accident are dispersed as they are transported downwind and diffused vertically and laterally according to the degree of turbulence in the atmosphere. Most commonly used mathematical representation of atmospheric dispersion are based on a Gaussian flow model developed by Pascal on 1961. The predominant force in flow transport is the wind. Example, gases, aerosol, and particles dispersed in the air move predominantly downwind. The greatest concentration of the material in a plum is along the plum center line. Aerosols, gases, and other materials in a plum depression spontaneously from region of higher concentration towards the lower concentration. Practical application of atmospheric depression model. The most common use of depression modeling is to access the potential environmental and health effects of discharges to air from industrial or trade premises. Models are particularly valuable for assessing the impact of discharges from the new activities and to estimate likely changes as a result of process modifications. Modeling results can also be used for accessing compliance of emission with air quality guidelines and standards, planning new facilities, managing existing emissions, identifying the main contributor to existing air pollution problems, and lastly, for accessing the risk and planning for the management of rare events such as accidental hazardous substances. In Gaussian model for a puff release, the concentration of material in the puff as a normal distribution along two axes perpendicular to wind direction, which is shown in the figure 1 in next slide. Source clouds for release associated with transportation accidents should be modeled as puff release. Figure 1 shows the diagram of Gaussian dispersion. Atmospheric stability classes, classification that describe the vertical temperature profile and its impact on pollutant depression. Dependence of concentration on averaging time. Concentration are influenced by the duration over which they are averaged. Short-term and long-term average are used to access different aspects of air quality impact. The given below are the formula to calculate the dependence of concentration on averaging time. For averaging times between 10 minutes and 5 hours, the concentration of two averaging times are related as the formula. ST is the averaging time in minutes, while the CT is the concentration of averaging time. Tall stocks and plum rice. Tall stocks are designed to enhance pollutant depressions by releasing emission at higher altitudes, while plum rice influenced by stock height and temperature differences determines how high the plum will rise, affecting the downwind concentration distribution. These are the formula to calculate the tall stocks where everything else concerned, the concentration at any point x should go down very quickly as h increases. Cmax decreases appropriately as hydrogen for many conditions. Plum rise is the upward movement of a pollutant plum due to the buoyancy of thermal effects. Factors affecting the plum rise are the stack gas temperature, exit velocity, and the atmospheric condition. Critical wind speed is the minimum wind speed required for effective dispersion. Below this speed, pollutant may accumulate near the source. The role of dispersion model are higher wind speeds enhance pollutant dilution and reduce ground level concentration. Consideration for stark design and location. Other stark design concentration. Firstly, stack exit velocity, which is influenced plum rise and dispersion. Secondly, multi-stack configuration, which is impact on dispersion patterns. 
Thirdly, stack diameter and shape which affects the rate of pollutant release and lastly, various stack parameters which are the exit velocity, exit temperature, exit diameter and also influence plum behavior. Computer program for dispersion modeling. Numerical models such as Armot, Kalpov and IS33 are used to stimulate atmospheric dispersion. These programs consider meteorological data, emission characteristics and strain features to predict pollutant concentration at different locations. The input parameters for computer program dispersion modeling are meteorological data, emission rates and sources characteristics, while for the outputs are concentration maps, impact assessments and compliance reports. Mobile sources and line sources model Depression modeling is not limited to stationary sources. It also addresses mobile and line sources. Mobile sources models access emissions from vehicles while line sources models deal with continuous emission along linear sources like roadways. Line sources are modeling emission along linear structures, for example from highways, while expanding the scope of depression modeling beyond stationary point sources. As the conclusion, atmospheric depression modeling is a powerful tool for understanding and managing air quality. It integrates physics, meteorology, and chemistry to predict pollutant concentration under various conditions. This knowledge is invaluable for regulatory compliance, environmental impact assessment, and the development of effective pollution control strategy. Advances in modeling techniques continue to improve the accuracy and reliability of these predictions, contributing to better air quality management and sustainable development.